loves it's Anne. So I have a tutorial for you today how to make blue eyes stand out or make up for blue eyes. Basically if you've got blue eyes and you want them to really really like look super blue or really just stand out maybe for pictures or if you're going on a snazzy event, I don't know. But just something that really makes them look really, really blue and like, whoa baby, noticeable. So um, this is what I came up with. Reds, coppers, golds, oranges, peaches, any kind of those warmish, coppery, goldish tones are gonna make your blue eyes really, really blue. Um, so I know a lot of you might kind of be nervous of wearing the red because it is quite intense. But if you're a little bit more braver, more braver, <laughs> that's really smart, more brave, and you do want to try something a little bit more kind of like, whoa, then definitely try the red with your blue eyes or even green eyes. It looks amazing. And then pairing it off with the really dark kind of inner black liner, it just really makes them stand out. So I hope that you guys like this look. I will have pictures on my blog so that you guys can see um, kind of a little bit up close with flash what it looks like as well. So thank you. I hope you guys like it. Okay, I'm going to put my foundation on first, which is my Leo Ellie Triple Dissolution BB Cream mixed with my Visible Lift Smooth Absolute <coughs> Instant Age Reversing Foundation in 172 from L'Oreal. It is so messy. It's horrible, but it's I love it. It's just a bit of a mess. And I'm going to blonde it on my face. I'm just going to use my Sigma F88 and just buff that in all over my face. Okay, concealer time. Same as always. I'm going to use my Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. And the color that I use is Fair. I just put about that much on my finger. Whoa, actually that was kind of a lot. So just kidding. Not that much. And then just put it on in a triangular shape so that it brightens up underneath your eyes. It makes you look like you got a lot of sleep, maybe, if you didn't. And then I'm going to blend it out with my Sigma P88. And you will notice with this concealer, um, you don't actually need to blend it out that much because it kind of just sinks into the skin and like almost just kind of blends itself, but I still blend anyway, obviously, but it really like just, it just disappears. It's amazing, I don't know. It's just the best ever. Okay, bronzer, I'm gonna use my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder and my Sigma F40. Okay, for my blush, I think I'm going to use this peach color from Be A Bombshell Cosmetics, and the color is um, Blind Date. It's actually coral. I should say coral, not peach. And I'm just going to use my Sigma F10, and with this stuff you barely need any. It's very, very pigmented, so watch yourself. You know what I mean? It's like super pigmented. Like, I barely just tapped it, and look at that. I mean, that's like crazy, you know? I'm going to put my concealer, not my concealer, my um, highlighter on. And I'm going to use my Lorac Perfectly Lit in Luminous. And I'm just going to put that all on my tops of my cheekbones. Down the center of the nose, upper lip. Okay, now I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint in bare canvas. You definitely want to prime your eyes for this because you're going to be using some nice kind of bright colors. So you want to make sure that you've got a good base for it to stick to so that it's nice and pigmented and also so that you're not going to have a bunch of creasing. I'm going to put my eyebrows on and then I shall be back. I've got my eyebrows on. The first thing I'm going to take is this Urban Decay Cream Shadow and the color is Suburbia. And it's kind of like a gold, what is it, a golden brown? Um, I would recommend using, if you can find one, more of a reddish base or cream shadow. I don't actually have one, so I'm just kind of using a warmish kind of gold one. Um, just anything that has like a warmish tone to it will be fine. But obviously, redder the better. 
So just kind of blend that in really sloppily, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take my Sigma uh, Dare palette right here. And the first color I'm going to take is this really soft kind of, uh, it's like a creamish pink. And I'm going to put that up on my brow bone. And then I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush and just pop it in the inner corners. The next color that I'm going to take is Reveal. And it's this really pretty kind of burnt red color. And I'm going to take my Urban Decay flat brush. And I'm going to start packing that right over where we just put that eyeshadow, that cream eyeshadow base. Just really packing it on. You don't want to fluff it or anything like that, just kind of pat and really work it into the lid. Okay, then whatever's left on your brush, you're just going to take that and kind of just softly smudge it underneath. Just kind of halfway in. Okay, you're gonna get a fluffy brush. My battery just died. Fluffy brush, this is the E35. And then I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Catch. I'm just gonna start blending that kind of just softly into the crease, just blending all of that base color out. The first color we used has got a little bit of a shimmer to it. The second color is just a matte. So you're nice and red and, and evil looking. Haha, <laughs> not evil looking. But you know. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit of this, which is called Surrender, and it's a dark plum. Not even, it's more like an eggplant, I suppose. And I'm just going to kind of deepen that right into the crease. Just a little tiny bit. So you can see how it just kind of darkens it a little bit. And then I'm going to take a tiny little bit of that eggplant color and just work it right in that outer corner just a little bit okay the next thing I'm going to do is take my Imani um, this is the color dust and the color is I think it's 138 and it's basically just a really pigmented red like ooh baby it's amazing and with my finger I'm just going to pop that all over the lid, just so that it's extra intense. I'm going to take my um, Urban Decay Skull Palette and this color right here, which is Cherry, I'm just going to take that in my inner corner, just to give it a little bit of extra highlight. And then also right in this very top part of my brow bone just because it gives that extra highlight color. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get my Avon Super Shock and I'm gonna put that in my waterline. I'm also gonna tight line. And then I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit kind of right at the lash line in the outer corner and then just kind of softly smudge that out just with my finger a little bit and then with that eggplant color oh my gosh my eyes are like totally watering now and an E21 which is just a nice little smudgy brush I'm gonna get that eggplant surrender color and then just kind of go over that black and just kind of smudge it out a little bit just to soften it because I don't want it to be a really harsh line I want it to just kind of look like a little bit smoky and dark oh, 
now that my eyes are watering like crazy, I'm gonna put my mascara on. I'm just gonna use my Maybelline XXL Pro extensions. So two coats of the white, and then I let them dry in between, and then two coats of the black. Okay, so I've got my mascara on. So you can see how blue my eyes look with this red color. It just makes them really, really stand out, especially with the black in the rim and everything. Um, now, if you want to be really bold, you can finish with a red lip and that would be like really, really dramatic. I'm going to go with like more of a nude lip. So I'm just going to take my MAC Naked Liner. Fill in the whole lip with that. And then I'm just going to go around the edges very softly with my Boldly Bare. And then I'm going to take this Wet Shine Gloss from Maybelline in the color Clearly Coral. Put a little bit of that on and then I'm going to take this Cora's Pomegranate Lip Butter and it's got a tiny bit of a reddish tint to it. And I'm just going to pop that right over just to give it a little bit more color so that I don't look like I'm dead. Because nobody wants to look dead. And there is the finished look. You can see how intense those eyes, the, the blue just really, really stands out. And this lighting is not the best right now, so it doesn't look as um, good in this camera than it does in real life, but I guarantee when you take pictures, it's gonna be like, whoa, baby. So I hope you guys like the look. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.